I love you both so much and I couldn't be happier for your eternal union to the newlyweds. Cheers. But other than that, I just want to say I'm very thankful for you. I'm happy to call you my big sister. And yep, I love both of you guys. Hey, yeah. I want to give applause to all the families. If you're here tonight, let's give an applause for all the families, most sides. Thank you. God is good. All the time. God is awesome. <laughs>Uh, first of all, say thank you to Salah's family, to his parents. Simi, Elena, you have done a great job in raising this young man. As a father, it's difficult. As my dear wife said, we only have one daughter. There's a tall one saying, Salah, today I leave lovely to you to take care of her. To the end of this life, she's in your care, and I trust you to do that, Salah. she started dating Sala, I remember how much she started to change. She is still all of those things, but she started to soften up. She was more accepting of things and open-hearted. There were a lot of things that was hard on her in the beginning of the relationship, but the constant reassurance and genuine love Sala sh gave and showed her during hard times made it easy for her to fall in love with him. Hey, son. You did it. You made your dream come true. I remember when you said, Mom, I have a girl. And yes, this mama was jealous. Because <laughs> my sons are my babies. Lovely, you got my son's heart. And I'm so happy he found the love of his life. Meeting Lovely, she's such a humble, smart, intelligent, down to earth. And I'm so proud of you. greatest joy I found in the loving families because God wants us to be happy forever. Marriage and family relationship are meant to last far beyond till death do you part. My advice to you both is to plan from the beginning to give your marriage a strong foundation. At the end of the Sermon on the Mount, our Savior used the analogy of foundation. Therefore, whosoever heareth this saying of mine and doth them, I will liken unto a wise man, which built his house upon the rock. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was found upon the rock. I just want to let you know that I love you. Thank you so much for your righteous, being a righteous daughter and being so obedient. And um, hopefully you can carry those over, those traits over as you continue as a wife and future mother to your children and your family. Salah, I can't say how much I love you. Thank you so much for your example. I think every parent fears having someone that's perfect for their child. And Salah, you are perfect for lovely. So I'm so grateful for you. Through the fire, I walk alone. I was stuck in the moment. I couldn't see through the smoke. Speaking of construction, according to the scriptures, you gotta build, use a lots of material in building construction, which is lovely's uh, feel.
in her career, you use lots of uh, material to build a strong foundation. Together, as bring it to your marriage and your families. You have to always include our Savior Jesus Christ in building your foundation and building your families. To have a strong foundation at home and to include our Savior Jesus Christ in your life and in your families. Brothers and sisters, I introduce to you Mrs. and Mr. Alma Vaya Laulu. About a year and a half ago, when we met in Hilo, and Lovely and Sala were engaged, if you ever have a chance to go to Hilo, near Coconut Island, there's a big banyan tree. It is probably the most beautiful tree I've ever seen in my entire life. And I can tell you this, that banyan tree has stood there for years. Why? Because the roots are strong. Just like today, we've come here to witness these two married couple coming together, their roots are strong because of their families. Sala, thank you for always being so respectful, patient, and loving to my sister. For being her other half and showing her a love like this exists. You both have come so far as individuals and as a couple. I know everyone in this room is excited for your futures as you take on life together. I'm actually pretty happy that you entered my brother's life because I seen that, uh, yeah, he was just <laughs> a changed man. <laughs> I was like, damn, who's this? <laughs>